Howdy gang and welcome to your very first step in becoming a Python Ninja. Alright then, so the big question first of all, why should you even learn Python? Well, honestly, because Python is a really cool programming language and it can be used for a ton of different things and it's really simple to pick up as well, so why not? So what are some of the different ways we can use Python in? Well, first of all, we can use it to create websites and we can employ the help of frameworks like Django to help us do that. And in fact, a couple of websites you might know of, Instagram and Dropbox, they both use Python as well, so it can't be that shabby, right? We can also use Python to run scientific applications and we can use libraries such as SciPy, things like that to do that. And in fact, I studied astrophysics at university. Yep, I'm a geek. And we use Python to perform all kinds of computations and run scientific software. So it's really popular in the scientific community. And in fact, NASA actually use Python for a lot of things too. And uh, we can also use Python to control robots, which is immensely cool, and uh, interact with things like Raspberry Pi, which incidentally, I will be hoping to do a few tutorials on in the future at some point. So yeah, anyway, Python can be used in loads of different ways. And because it's so versatile, it is considered a general purpose programming language, right? So that means basically it can be used for many different things. And that's in contrast to something like PHP, which was purely designed for the web. Python doesn't have any specific use or restrictions like PHP does. So we can use it for many different things. It's a general purpose programming language. Now you're also often gonna hear Python being described as a high level programming language as well, which basically means that the language abstracts away from low level machine code uh, so that it's much more human readable basically because at the end of the day, machine code is just a series of random numbers. Well, not random, but just a series of numbers, letters, which could be really difficult to program in, right? Uh, but because Python uh, language extracts itself so much away from this computer machine code, uh, we can easily read it and we can easily program in it. But for that reason, we need an interpreter to run the Python code through so that the computer can understand it. And this all sounds way more complex than it needs to be. It's actually very simple for us to do and you're gonna see all that later. And finally, it's also really fun to learn and it's surprisingly easy to pick up as well. And that's one of the main reasons I wanna create this series, which is gonna teach you all of the building blocks you need to start creating your own programs with Python from scratch. So what are we gonna learn? Then? Well, first of all, we're gonna learn the basics, all the different types different variables, numbers, strings, lists, dictionaries. So we'll learn all of the basics first of all. Then we're gonna move on to some slightly more advanced topics, things like classes, objects, functions, and control flow, and start to build out some small projects. Then we're gonna look at how to interact with files on your computer, read files, write files, that kind of thing. And along the way, through the whole thing, we are gonna go through some mini projects such as creating a bar tab calculator, some kind of random Ipsum generator, and how to download and save images from the web as well. So the aim is that by the end of this series, you're gonna be in a good position to go out and start making your own programs from scratch. And because Python is one of the most widely used high level programming languages out there, you're gonna find a lot of good resources to help when you're creating projects in the wild on your own. Now, this series is gonna focus on Python 3, not Python 2, which is still you know, fairly widely used by some people, but because Python 3 is gonna be the future, that is what this series is all gonna be about. So like always, I am gonna be providing you with all of the course files for this series. You can find it on my GitHub repository called Python 3 playlist. Of course, this link is gonna be down below. So for the first few lessons, there's not gonna be any code. You can see it start from lesson six up here. And that's just because we're gonna be using the, uh, the command line to go through the basics at the start. But once we get to lesson six, you're gonna find all the code on the GitHub repository. So you can just go to whatever lesson you want and you'll be able to find all the code here by going into lessons or programs if we're making some kind of mini program and you can browse that or download it if you want, okay? So it's all there if you need it. Um, I am also gonna recommend a couple of different programs which I'm gonna be using in this series as well. The first one is a text editor called Atom, which I think is just immensely cool. Uh, it's free as well, so you can find that at atom.io. Uh, incidentally, I'm gonna be using a theme called Atom Monokai. A lot of people always ask me that. So that's what it's called, Atom Monokai. Uh, the other tool I'm gonna to recommend is called Commander or CMDA. You can find that at cmder.net. Again, this link is gonna be down below. This is a command line tool which looks better than the Windows Basics one. And uh, it also gives us access to Git. 
if you've not already got that installed and Linux commands as well. So if you want to download that, just come to this website and there's a download button down here. You can either download the full or mini version. That's entirely up to you. But I'm going to be using this and Atom. Uh, I recommend that you do too as well. So there we go, there's your introduction to Python and why we should learn it. In the next lesson, what we're gonna do is look at how to install Python onto your computer.